What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another War Within video. This is for a uh, warrior, arms warrior in particular. Uh, I know the camera's super orange. I look like I'm getting a sun tan right now. Uh, it's nighttime, and I'm just filming another video because I just I'm shooting off as many of these as I can. So, bear with the orangeness. We're gonna talk about Colossus Warrior today. This is an arms warrior or a prop warrior, which can go Colossus. So not Fury. This is a really cool spec that I've actually really enjoyed. I'm gonna make my way towards the training dummies now. This is the uh, third warrior that I've had to make because for some reason, parking your tunes in Dazara lore in the alpha has proven to be detrimental to their ability to log back into the game. So we're gonna just try this and fly into the training dummy area and just kind of hope for the best, okay? So we'll start here. What's going on with this Colossus tree? For Arms Warrior, it's really cool, okay? And, and I'm very excited about the interactions within this tree and the interactions with your talent, uh, your spec tree in particular, that are really awesome. So this tree adds a new ability called Demolish, and we're going to go through this whole tree, and then I'm going to give you some gameplay on the dummies here in just a second, okay? So we get Demolish. You unleash a series of precise attacks against your target. This is really cool, and it is an awesome-looking animation. Just watch this here. Boom! Like, that's chunky. That feels good. That's like a that's a cool new ability. I like that, okay? Now, it does a series of three swings that does single target damage and AoE splash damage. Okay, it's a technically a channel. While you're channeling demolish, you take 10% less damage, and you're immune to stuns, knockbacks, and forced movement effects, which is kind of nuts, actually. That's pretty good for who knows what fights we're going to have in the War Within that require that. But it's a nice little touch. That's very, very good for PvP, right? I'm, I'm thinking most of PvE. So you get this new ability. That's great. What else does the rest of the tree have to offer? Well, now there's a Colossal Might buff that also gets added. So we have a new ability and a new buff that goes along with it. This is important. We're going to track this later. Colossal Might increases damage dealt by your next Demolish by 10%. Mortal Strike and Shield Slam grant a stack of Colossal Might stacking up to 10 times, okay? So you use Mortal Strike. It gives you a stack. Your next Cl your next um, Demolish does more damage, okay? Very simple. Colossal Might increases the damage of your next Overpower and Revenge by 5% per stack. Again, this can stack up to 10 times. I'll just tell you right now. Oh, it already says that there. It already said that, Zuko. Precise Might, Mortal Strike, and Shield Slam Critical Strikes grant an additional stack of Colossal Might. So two instead of one. Very nice. Let's look at the final node. Dominance of the Colossus. Colossal Might now stacks up to 10 times. If you would gain a stack of Colossal Might, but you're already at max stacks, instead you reduce the cooldown of Demolish by two seconds. This is so critical. I'm going to show you how this works in a minute. Enemies affected by Demolish take up to 10% more damage from you and deal 10% less damage to you. Very cool. So actually some built-in DR on boss fights, some built-in damage reduction for Arms Warrior. The damage reduction there is primarily for Prot Warrior because Prot Warrior shares this tree, but like it also works for Arms Warrior, which is very nice. That's cool. Let's look at the side nodes really quickly. Critical strike damage of all your abilities is up by 10%. And then there's a critical block thing for Prot Warrior. Shockwave, Cleave, Whirlwind, Revenge, deal more damage per target affected up to 5, so 25% more damage if they hit 5 targets. Colossal Might increases the damage of your Rain and Deep Wounds by 2%. We're going to switch to that one. Very, very good. Mortal Strike and Shield Slam damage up. Very nice. This is Shock 2, Shockwave Talent. So Shockwave, a stun duration increase, or Shockwave knocks enemies into the air. This is interesting from an Arms Warrior perspective. They have moved Shockwave up out of the Capstone area, so you can actually take it now as a CC option, which it really should be. It, you know, it used to... Right now in the live game, actually, it, you can make it do crazy amounts of damage. They're getting rid of that, and they're just saying, hey, it's a crowd control ability. Now you can make it knock enemies up in the air, which is very nice. If they're getting stun DR, like the diminishing return is, like, really high, uh, maybe they're stun immune, then you can knock them up. This is um this is your like um defensive option, your health restore option. What am I trying to say? Your recovery option. Taking damage is a chance to give you second wind. Very cool. Or total damage prevented by ignore pain, uh, increased by 15%. I think the second wind one is really good. Ignore pain requires you to spend rage on it, which sucks. So 
obviously ignore pain is a good ability, but like I'd rather not spend, I'd rather spend rage offensively. So nice to just have a passive one there. And then finally you do 5% more damage, take 5% less damage and your size is increased by 5%. So primarily what we've got going here is the center column of the tree. And what that is, is this ability demolish. Now, I talked about this stack, Colossal Might. This now stacks up to 10 times. I'm going to show you what this looks like, and I'm going to show you the most important sort of interaction here, which is that you can cool down uh, Demolish by getting to 10 stacks of your buff and then continuing to press Mortal Strike. Every time you press Mortal Strike, if you're at 10 stacks, the cooldown of, Coloss of Demolish goes down. And this is the critical part. If you are hitting more than one target with Mortal Strike, it will reduce the cooldown faster. So if you are using sweeping strikes, for example, and hitting two targets with mortal strike, it'll take four seconds off the cooldown instead of two. If you press blade storm and you have unhinged and it throws out two mortal strikes, those are both gonna reduce the cooldown as well. Okay? Also, if you don't have any stacks built up on the enemy yet, those abilities that do extra mortal strikes will all build up more stacks more quickly. Okay, I want you to watch the top bar for the stacks that I'm going to be um, generating, okay? Every time I blade storm, I'm going to press mortal strike. So if I hit avatar, I proc a blade storm. That blade storm procs mortal strikes because of unhinged. If I press blade storm, it procs mortal strikes. So watch this. We're going to charge and press avatar. I'm getting stacks right now. There it is, colossal might. Getting four stacks right there. I'm going to sweeping strikes, okay? And then I'm going to press demolish. Once I'm at 10 stacks here, I, there we go. Boom! And my demolish also uh, cleaved with my with sweeping strikes, by the way. Now, every mortal strike, I'm building stacks up again. Now, I'm at max stacks right now. I'm going to start cooling down demolish. Look at demolish. 24, 23, 17. That was a crit, probably. Had to be a crit. Watch, I'm going to press blade storm. Watch, I press blade storm and my cooldown will go down. Boom, boom. Because I get free mortal strikes. So that's another way to, to bring it down. Now I'm gonna press I'm gonna press sweeping strikes into demolish again. Boom! And then I press my mortal strikes and we start building up our stacks again. Look at the top eight stacks. We're almost up to 10. Now we're up to 10 stacks. Perfect. Now we're gonna cool down demolish. So it's not really a 45 second cooldown. Look at how fast I'm cooling it down. 16 seconds. Ah, we're not getting a proc right now. That's unlucky. Here we go again. 12 seconds down to eight seconds, seven seconds. You can see how quickly that goes, right? And then we go here. I'm going to wait for sweeping strikes again. There we go. We go sweeping strikes into demolish. Boom, boom. Wham. Like, that's how this works. So, I was really impressed with the amount of synergy that exists between this ability now and the entire tree that exists for arms. It is incredibly fun to play with. This is one of the... The funnest trees I have played with yet. Funnest is not a word, but we're just going with it, okay? This is honestly, like, some of the most fun I've had with a new tree. There's some trees that are, like, totally passive, and they're a little bit boring, but they're, like, strong. Boring, but good, right? There's some that add new things, but they're maybe not that great. Looking at you, Oracle Priest, right? And then there's trees like this that seem to add a new thing and also get the synergy with the tree. They just nail it. There's another tree for Arms Warrior Slayer that has all to do with like Bladestorm. It's all about Bladestorm and triggering extra hits on Bladestorm and cooling Bladestorm down. I just don't like it as much as this one, mostly because of the Sweeping Strike synergy and the synergy with Mortal Strike and the amount of ways that you can proc Mortal Strike from Bladestorm. You can proc it with Avatar, you can proc it with your Bladestorm, Mortal Strike, Mortal Strike, Mortal Strike, and you're reducing the cooldown of this, you're building up stacks. I just really love this thing. At its core, there's like a simple concept here. You get a new ability, you build up these stacks, and you cool down the ability. That's kind of all that's going on. But I'm telling you that playing around with this, this little mini game that you get to play is incredibly fun and very rewarding when you do it right. And I'm not even doing it right, probably. I don't even know if this is the right tree. Like, don't worry about any of that stuff. Just think about how it feels to play this thing because it feels freaking good. Let me tell you right now. It feels freaking good. I'm gonna go this, we're gonna do a blade storm. Watch my stacks. Five, seven, then we'll get another one here up to 10. And then we will hit our thing. Boom, and then we're gonna avatar. A Couple more mortal strikes are gonna cool down. Oh, never mind, we spent it. We gotta get back to the top again, back to nine. Look at how quickly you get back to nine. That's really great. It's very, very fast, okay? Mortal strike, 
Shockwave will get Thunderous Roar out there. I don't even know. I'm just pressing buttons. Waiting for C Sweeping Strike. I'm going to wait for Sweeping Strike. Here we go. Sweeping into Mortal. Then our big Colossus Smash. Okay. We're cooling down our Demolish again. There we go. Boom. 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 Back to Demolish. Let's go. Bam. And then we go Overpower. And we'll go into a Mortal Strike. Into Overpower. Got a Mortal Strike back. Into Overpower again. Got a Mortal Strike back again. We're back to max stacks already. Here we go. We're up to nine. Now we're up to ten. Now we're cooling it down. Boom, boom. We'll get our sweeping strikes back just in time for our uh, cooldown of Demolish to come back. Let's go sweeping strikes right now just to get it going. Plus a smash. We're going to get a big sweeping strikes here. Big Demolish. Boom. Like, I I'm telling you, this thing feels really fun to play. And um, I think that adding an additional button to uh, Arms Warrior is actually fine. That's actually not bad at all. They have lots of buttons they can press, but they are a little bit slower than Fury Warrior. They don't give you Carpal Tunnel quite like Fury Warrior does, which is actually totally fine. I'm going to wait for one second here to get my cooldowns back. We're going to go Sweeping Strikes into Overpower, Coloss or Warbreaker into our Demolish. Let's stack up all the buffs to make sure we do as much damage as we can, and that's how it goes. I'm telling you, this thing is really strong, and it's really fun. I think this is going to be great. I love getting a new ability that actually hits hard and feels good to press and the fact that you can sweeping strike its damage onto a second target is insane you get all these mortal strikes that are cleaving multiple enemies and they're cooling down demolish you can get it back quicker i love 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 this thing this ability this tree alone makes me want to play arms warrior in the war within seriously that's how good this is i'm telling you that's how good it is and i think that these are the kinds of trees that blizzard needs to make more of this is like a hero tree that makes you want to play that spec even if you don't have one right now is awesome so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this is my first look at uh colossus arms warrior let me know if you think i missed anything or if you guys have seen any other interactions i think this is going to be a hell of a lot of fun and i think you guys are going to have a lot of fun on you guys who play warrior you're in for a treat if you like arms warrior all right let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thanks so much again for watching i love you all i'll see you in the next one